In this video, we're going to talk about a neat little computation that will enhance your repeated series dialogues. We're not going to need the template for this other than the actual component file. Um, so go ahead and launch your library and go to Component Manager. We're going to edit the child information dialog and if you didn't look at the repeated series very video prior to this you're going to want to change this to a repeated series from a spreadsheet the other thing I would strongly encourage you to do is look at the computation syntax video before you start watching this one now um, one of the issues we talked about before is if you come in and you enter people and we'll just do quick first names Bob Doug Joe you don't know which child is where in what iteration what I mean by an iteration in what row of information each child is in so I'm going to show you how you can show their names so just real quickly something very simple and it'll make it easy for your user the very first thing that you're going to do is you're going to put your title in your series label I'm just going to change this to child information the next thing I'll hit save that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a computation on the fly from my components. I'll give it a name. I like to put dialogue title at the end of these so I know what it works with and that it's not something I can use on the face of the document. So the way that I build my dialogue titles, again that's just what's going to show up at the side of the interview pane, is um, I like to have some kind of word show up there first for the user. It might be something like enter child information. I'll do that between qu quotes because it's just plain text. That initializes what's called the result of the computation. If I didn't do anything else, this is what the answer to the computation would be or its result. Then what I do is I start to build my computation. If the child's maybe first name is answered or maybe their last name is answered do something we'll do their last name if answered so I'm, I'm just typing this in you may want to drag and drop if you want to drag and drop answered is an instruction model if is an instruction model I'll go ahead and drag and drop for the sake of um, anyone who hasn't built script before here in hot docs so you'll see it says if expression and then I'm going to come down in the list as well sorry expression model for answered variable not instruction I'll drag and drop it over the word expression variable is replaced by the variable I want to see if it's answered or not and that will be my child last name so that's my first sentence and I'm gonna do a uh, enter my hard return or my inner key now I'm gonna tell hot docs what to do I want it to put the maybe the first name and last name I could do more but let's just do that for now and you can add on to it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say child first name we'll go ahead and put a space in there plus child last name so let me show you how I did that I did it fairly quickly I'm gonna drag up child first name space and if you drag everything up you don't have to type the space so if I drag up a plus sign I don't have to type the space I will need a space for the quotes because they're not in any of our three four boxes here then I'll enter a space between the quotes anything between quotes like you see here is literally text characters to hot docs so this is literally a space and then I can drag up another plus sign oops not a minus a plus and then I can drag up my last name in the correct place I just hit the undo button here when that happens and now I can bring up my end if it's an instruction model it's not in alphabetical order this one it's right under your if I can use this button to auto format and this basically is the gist of my code hot docs show this to the user in the interview outline unless they answer the last name then show this pretty simple that way I'll go ahead and click OK now the key is is I want to put that computation in the title box but I'm not going to see it here because computations cannot be added to contents so I need to change this so I either see all components or better yet just my computation variables and then I can drag and drop this into my title let me show you how this changes inner child information remember that's what we typed in quotes 
I'll put in Bob Smith. Come in, say John Doe. Mike Smith. I should probably change this to Smith. So you can see here that it shows you now what information is located in what iteration or what row of the repeat. So nice little simple trick that you can use to help your users out. Hope this video helps you in your development.